Today, we're diving into an essential topic for your candle business. So we're gonna get into designing your brand logo, choosing the perfect colors for your brand palette, and shaping a visual identity that authentically embodies who you are. I'm gonna share some fantastic free tools that you can start using today. Hi everybody, it's Carrie, owner and maker of Couture Home and Body. Welcome, I'm so glad you're here. If you missed the first installment in this series, you can check it out right here. I highly encourage you to watch that first before we dive into this one. Here to click on Start the Generator, and this is going to give us a cohesive color palette that works all together. Well, this is drab. <laughs> what you're gonna do is you're just gonna hit the space bar and it's gonna generate loads of different color palettes. So let's say you come along to this color palette, you absolutely love this sort of eggplanty color. What you can do is you can heart it and then you can lock it. So that way this color will stay the same. And then if you hit the space bar again, it's gonna generate new ones, but they're all gonna be cohesive based on this one that you've locked. And you can lock all of the heart and lock anything that you like and it'll continue to generate until you find one that you're absolutely happy with. You can also hit the plus button and it'll give you a six color palette as well. And you can see this fits in perfectly. Um, if you don't want it, just exit out. Another thing that I love is they give you the hex code and the name of the color right here. So some other features they have is you can upload a photo and it'll pull in all of the colors based on your inspo, inspo photo. Say, okay, I want you to create a color palette based on this right here. So this is the color palette that we have. So if there's anything that maybe, oh, I want them to get more of this pink color, you can just move this around and it'll just continue to update your color palette based on what you're selecting. This is probably the coolest feature of this free tool is that it's gonna give you the hex value it's gonna give you the RGB value and the CMYK value. And the reason why this is important is because if you wanna have like a banner printed, anything printed, and you want to make sure all of your colors stay true to what it looks like in the digital format, you're gonna need the CMYK for uh, print media. So once you're done, you're gonna hit next and then you're going to export your palette you can open the file and it's going to have all of your hex codes here. You can also save multiple versions where you can have it download with the RGB, the CMYK, and any other information that you might need based on this color palette. All right, so make sure you save this to your desktop or wherever you keep all of your brand documents because we're going to use this to build our brand style guide in just a little bit. Canva is another free tool that you can use to generate a color palette. It's limited here because they only give you four, but if you find something that you're really happy with, you can download this and upload it or download the photo and upload it into Cooler, and they'll go ahead and input one or two more colors to help flush out your color palette. So you can click through these different demo images. And again, they also have the hex code down here with the name of the color, which is fantastic. You can always screenshot this or download this photo. Yeah, fantastic. And just like with Cooler, we can upload an image to pull some colors. So we've uploaded our Bloom and Wick logo. Here are the four main colors that it's pulled from it. Again, we can always reverse engineer this, pop it into Cooler, and it'll fill in another one or two colors for us. We're gonna use for building a logo or creating a logo is a company called Luca. So we're gonna put in our fake company name, which is Bloom and Wick. It's gonna ask you a couple questions. So now it's gonna to wanna to know, all right, what kind of styles are you looking for? Now it's asking us to pick some colors that we like. I just wanna take a quick beat here to say, you know, color psychology, it's a whole big thing. Uh, so the advice I want to give to you today is when you think about premium branding, or sort of upscale packaging, you know, they stay away from primary color palettes. So like bright reds, bright blues, bright yellows, 
um, things like that. Instead, if you are thinking about doing something premium or sort of semi upscale, upscale what you want to do is like soften the blacks. Don't make it hard black warm up the whites and sort of go from there. So for today's purposes, I'm gonna click on this teal. I think this purple is nice, not the pink. So now it's created a bunch of different logos for us to choose from. And this is pulling from the color palettes that we selected and also the style and the font that we selected at the beginning. So yeah, as you can see, there is a ton here we can customize this logo however we want we can go in here and change the colors we can change the font here so really just getting into the tool and playing around and this is a great way to get a logo that doesn't have to be super complicated or expensive by hiring a designer all right if you want to download that logo it does have a small nominal fee and I think this is so reasonable whether it's $20 for the one file and then you can do whatever you want with that. You can pull it into Canva. Um, I think the premium logo is great because if you wanna make any changes, they will do it for free. Like if you hired someone to do that, it would cost a lot of money, like hundreds of dollars. So I would recommend doing the premium logo package. Um, you get multiple high res file types, which is great for print, digital, etc. Get technical support for life um, and you fully own the logo so i think this is a really inexpensive way to get a really nice looking logo for your brand we are at logo ai gonna enter our name we are retail and so here you, they are already pre-generating palettes for you. So again, if you don't have one, this will help fill in that void for you. All right, they've generated a bunch of different logos. Pretty similar, I think that was a lot quicker than the previous tool, but it was also more specific and customized. So we're starting to pull in some of these elements here. You can go into the editing tool and you can click on what you want to edit, what you want to move. So they will have suggestions here on the side. If we want to change the color or the font, they're going to show you different ways and different combinations. Same thing here. It's a free tool to use. You can always pull this off and bring it into Canva if you wanted to. I do think it's prudent to make sure that you get your vector files and a transparent PNG because it, you will need that for packaging or you know labels, things like that. Again, $59 is such a low cost for a custom logo. If you don't need something or want something too complicated, I think that uh, Logo AI is a perfect way to get there. All right, so this is the last AI tool that I'm gonna show you. It's called Copilot, it's from Microsoft, and this is the tool that I used originally to create the logo that we've been building, the color palette and everything off of. I think it's beautiful and I absolutely love it. So we're just gonna be really explicit. So you can see, create a realistic image, compose a song, like you have to be very explicit when speaking or giving instruction to this tool. So once it generates, we'll see if we need to adjust anything. These are all fantastic. It's like pretty shocking what this tool can do. So as you can see, these are just really beautiful AI generated images. Now this one is tough because they're just putting it on a candle and you'd want to get this. So you really just have to learn how to speak to this. Um, it's just like with any AI tool, you have to be super explicit. You wanna use as many descriptive words as possible. But for today's purposes, I just wanted to show you that it does create some really beautiful things. And then if you wanna change something, you just have to click on the different elements and uh, it'll update it for you. So again, I just wanna show you, this is the one that I originally generated using Copilot for this series. Um, I'm really happy with how this looks. I think it's kind of crazy. I love it. All right, so we're gonna come into Canva and we are gonna do a search for a brand guide. All right, so it's going to pull up a ton of different 
print guidelines documents that we can just plug and play all of our information and create our own here. So I would say just search through, open up a bunch and see what speaks to you. Remember, you're going to make this yours. It's going to have your font, your style, your colors, and your logo. So whatever you choose, you're just going to come in and you're going to change all of these elements. And if you don't want all of these pictures, you don't want to put candle pictures in here, you can just delete them. The point is that this is just giving you a nice baseline so that when you create this brand kit and you go to work with another person, a vendor, uh, an advertising agency, a marketing agency, a PR firm, a packaging company, you can hand them this brand kit and they'll be able to follow along. And that's gonna include anything for print, especially you're gonna have all of your CMYK colors as well as your hex colors. So to get into it, I'm just gonna scoot forward. Again, you can update this navigation page, but the most important things are going to be your color palette that you want to update, your font, wherever you have chosen font or if you've selected a font, if you purchased a font, you're going to put it in here. And just basically, it's literally a walkthrough of what font you use, the hierarchy of when you use it and where you use it, and in the type that you use it. And if you happen to have any elements or shapes, you would put those here as well. Anything that is related to your brand that you've created. So for instance, if you are using an anchor or a flower bundle, those elements would be here. Uh, and this one, if it's relevant, you can delete this page, just any type of photography, inspo, your candle line, your product line, it can all go in here. If you're planning to do any merch, you could pop that in here. If you have a hat, a t-shirt, a bag, etc. All right, let's go back to the color palette and let's start inputting what we've already selected for our brand. We're gonna grab this color. And you can see right here, this is the hex. So you just click on it and now it's saved here. And then you want to update your hex code as well. And there we have it. Let's do another one. Let's grab one of these. Let's grab this pink one. Perfect. You just want to plug in and make sure that you have all of this saved here. So I'm not going to bore you and take you through, but basically this has six. If you only have five, you can just delete one and space everything out. So just coming back here again, just picking your font. I recommend using a font that isn't too swirly, too, too much calligraphy, because then it's really difficult to read. So this B, it's on the borderline for me personally, but um, it really, you just, when you shrink something down, if you can't read it and it's really hard, like the font is too thin, it's not a good font. So like I can read this Anais, but I can't read what's underneath it. So as I zoom it, okay, it says clothing, but it's still really, it looks like cutting. It's really difficult. So these are the things I implore you to keep in mind. So we're just gonna delete that element and we're gonna put ours in here. And you can also customize, of course, the background color here. Maybe we wanna use something that is closer to this background here. Highly recommend having this brand kit and you can use any style you want. It doesn't have to be 13 pages, it could only be two pages. So long as it covers the most important things, which are your logo, your font, your color palette, and any elements that are tied to your logo and your brand. Remember, creating a strong visual identity is key to standing out in the market and connecting with your audience. All right, stay tuned, you guys. Pot three is coming. I'm gonna dive into all the key steps that you need to take to start selling your candles online. From setting up your e-commerce platform, taxes, insurance, and whether forming an LLC is right for you. So I'm going to cover everything you need to know to launch your candles into the digital marketplace. It's going to be exciting. And again, chock-a-block full of info, you guys. So until then, I'll see you soon. Bye.